Hello everyone, this is video two of your tutorial on Illustrator Exercise 1. So in the last video, I showed you how to open your images in Photoshop, save your images, and then make three images adjustments. Now we're going to do um, steps four through eight in this video. So we're going to um, learn how to crop each image and um, resize each image. Remember, uh, for this exercise, you need to change the resolution of each photo to one 50 par, uh, pixels per inch and the width to five inches and make sure your image stays in proportion. Um, then you're going to need to compress your three image files into a single zip file and turn in your zip file to canvas. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going back to my image of the car here. And now that I have my adjustment layers, I want to change the image size and also crop the image. So let's look at, let's take a look at the image size. Um, so if we go to image and go to image size, I'll see a menu here that tells me a bit about the image. So the image size here is 51.3 megabytes. Um, the dimensions are important, right? So it's about 5,000 pixels by 3,400 pixels. Um, and right now the image is um, 72 inches if I were to print it in width and 48 inches in height so pretty big and the resolution here is 72 pixels per inch so we are going to end up changing some of this because our resolution um, we want to change it because right now it's set at a low resolution 72 is low resolution 150 is medium resolution and 300 is high resolution um, for professional printing. So we're gonna come back to this. I just wanna show you this, so let's cancel out of this. Now, let's go to our crop tool on the left. So your crop tool looks like this, um, and I'm just going to highlight that, and that is what we wanna use when we want to chop the photo down. And uh, again, it's a little bit different than resizing the image. Um, this is actually showing how, how much of the image you want to, to show. Okay, so in order to resize it, um, I first want to make sure that the word ratio appears up here in the drop down menu on the top left and that these two squares are empty. All right, these two boxes are empty. So you can chop your image very easily by dragging the one of the corners or um, one of the sides to get it to where you want and I want you to push the limits of making your crop to be artistic and creative so when you crop your image don't just put the car in the middle like it was in the original image right because that's boring and you can do something that's a little bit more fun and creative so you might for instance try putting the 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 car somewhere on the right upper side of the image so you're giving the guy somewhere to go um, maybe you do something fun like even you know chopping off part of the car um, so you get to choose you have artistic you have the artistic license to do that so once you're finished you can hit enter or your return key or you can hit this check mark and there you go um, so now, now that we've cropped our image the way we want it to be, let's go back to our image size and we're going to make those adjustments now. So go to image size and you can see my image size is a little bit smaller than it was before. That's because I've actually cut out part of the image. Um, but right now it's still very, very large. So do you remember that we want to change the width we want to change the width to be five inches. Now, if yours says something different than inches, if it says pixels, make sure you have it set to inches. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to five. I want to make sure this little link box is checked because that will keep the proportions, right? So if I change the width to five inches, you'll see the height automatically changes also. And um, your height the height of the photo is just whatever it ends up being when you change the width to five inches so make sure you have five inches resolution we're going to set it for this assignment to 150 pixels per inch make sure the resample box is checked and then click okay 
Now you'll notice it's pretty small, um, but that's fine. That's okay. That's the way that you want it to be. Um, so then you go ahead and save. Make sure you save all of your images. Okay. All right. And click OK. All right. So let's say I have resized all of my photos. Once I've done that and I have saved them all to be the way that I want them to be, I want to save this one. And then same thing, you're going to do the same thing with the teeth, um, with the image adjustment layers, and then the cropping and the resizing. And you've saved that and you've saved all this. So you actually go ahead and exit out of Photoshop. And then you want to go ahead and bring up your finder window or your view window. And you'll see you have three PSD files. Um, these are the Photoshop files. And you don't want to turn in the Photoshop files. So you're going to make zip file, a zip file. And you may be used to receiving zip files, but some of you may not have created a zip file before. And zip files are great because they compress all of the files together. Um, so when they're sent, they can you can send large large volumes or large files very easily. So what you're going to do is compress the items into a zip file. So I'm going to show you how to do this if you're using a Mac. On a PC it's a little bit more tricky because there are different systems depending on if the PC uses um, a third party or web provider. So you might want to Google how to create the zip file on the PC um, for, for directions. Um, but if you're using a Mac you can go ahead and click all three. Let's go ahead and hold my shift key. All right and now I'm going to right click here and I want to go to compress three items and when I do that it automatically creates a zip file and it names it archive so you want to rename that and um, I'm not going to be a stickler for what the name is but I'm going to name mine J Mertens and there we go so I have my zip file and that is what you turn into canvas so that's all for this tutorial. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions on this assignment.